what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about how fortnite's philosophy surrounding the mech is actually wrong so if you guys didn't know fortnite actually tweeted out a small little i guess you could say an article um that they posted on their website regarding their philosophy around the mech um and it was kind of like their their reaction to the entire community saying hashtag remove the mech everybody on twitter and on instagram and social media and twitch and youtube pretty much everybody who plays the game has been complaining about the mech on social media for the past two weeks ever since fortnite season 10 was released so essentially this little article that they posted is them defending their implementation of the mech in the game and they provide a little bit of data as to how the mech actually affects the outcome of the game and they also explain why they've put it in the game in the first place and when i was reading this i was actually kind of getting excited to to because i knew as i was reading this i was like i'm gonna make a video because we've actually seen this type of behavior from game developers in the past we've seen it from call of duty developers we've seen it from world of warcraft developers we've seen this type of attitude from developers before uh, and i'm going to get into that a little bit later but for right now i just want to read to you um what they've said so far on this article and i want to break it down like kind of i guess uh paragraph by paragraph so here's what it says hiya folks we've heard the frequent discussions hashtag remove the mech about the brute and decided this would be a good opportunity to explain the fortnite philosophy the mission of fortnite is to bring players of all skill levels together to have a fun experience where anyone can win for example everyone having a shot at the first elimination or victory royale moment and the satisfying feeling that comes with it right now we know there are players out there who have never had that opportunity so the first thing that we learned from this paragraph is that the developers of fortnite want the game to be kind of a level playing field where anybody has the chance to win and that's that's a laughably terrible goal you cannot possibly have a game where you have esports competitions right and then also say we want anyone to have the chance to win those two things are oil and and vinegar they just do not mix you cannot build a game around the philosophy of everyone should have the chance to win and also also basically having an event that that caters to like the top one percent of the player base those two things are polar opposites of one another but they're saying that they want the game to function such that anybody could possibly win which means you have to remove a certain amount of skill from the game that's the first thing that we learn from this paragraph the second thing is that they want everybody to have the chance to win because it's satisfying that's a key point here they're saying we want everyone to have the shot at either the first elimination or victory royale because of how satisfying it feels now let me ask you this if you win in a game where anybody has the chance to win how satisfying is that I mean maybe after a little while yes it could be satisfying for for a certain period of time uh but that's not a lasting feeling but i'll come back to that let's move on to the next paragraph another part of the mission is to provide spectacle and entertainment when playing fortnite bringing these moments to the game every week means there is always a new way to enjoy and experience the game essentially what this is saying is they're basically saying we want the game to be fun to watch and to stream so they're saying not only do we want the game to be fun to play but we also want it to look cool when you're watching somebody else playing it. now from a game development standpoint this makes sense you want more people to watch people playing your game because that keeps at the top of twitch the top of youtube and that kind of keeps players uh, engaged and coming back to your game of course that makes sense but in in the event of of the mech you're actually sacrificing player experience for viewer experience and who's going to play the game if they don't like it and who's gonna watch it if no one's playing it so they're kind of like shooting themselves in the foot with that one because again if you're if you put something in the game and saying well this would be really cool to watch right they literally say a spectacle and entertainment when playing fortnite if it's a spectacle you know like a fireworks show is a spectacle right it's explosive and it's like bam right in your face that's what they're trying to accomplish with this they want streams and youtube videos to look amazing like explosions and robots and all this other stuff but if the players hate playing that game then they're not going to stream it and then the spectacle doesn't matter because no one's watching it let's move on to the next paragraph i think that one was easy to dismantle the brute was added at the start of season 10 with this mission in mind since then we have seen players who had previously struggled with getting eliminations acquire more while the number of eliminations earned by more experienced players remain steady that statement is really misleading because essentially what they're saying is 
players who don't have that many eliminations on average are getting more because of the mech and then players with a higher number of eliminations have remained the same so what they're saying is players with a large number of eliminations are still getting that many eliminations on average while the, the the worst players the bad players in the game see an average number of kill increase so how does that even make sense how do you have more kills per game there's only 100 people you literally can't have more than 99 kills per game so how is there how has the average number of kills per game gone up so somebody is missing here and that's the average player right so they're talking about the great players are still doing well of course they could they have the building skill they have the the gun skill right and they're still doing well of course that's fine the bad players are now doing better because they have a gigantic robot that can literally just give them free kills so that's great so the person that's that's their their kills must be going down are the are the average players right the players right in the middle the players who you know maybe average three or four kills per game uh, as opposed to like tfu's 15 and you know no thumbs timmy has zero so no thumbs timmy now has maybe two kills per game or four kills per game and the average player has to have fewer kills per game because of that and so what they're doing is they're actually ruining the experience for the average player which is the most important of all the players right they're the most important because they're the largest if you look at a standard distribution graph a majority of players are going to fall in the average skill gap that's just how the standard de deviations work that's just how normal distribution works if you take in any basic statistics class most players are average and if this statement is saying that the best players are getting the same number of eliminations and the worst players are getting more eliminations on average that means the only person that could be getting less eliminations on average is the average player that's really bad news that's really bad news for fortnite you don't want to ruin the experience of your average player because that's most of them that's like 68 percent of your players not kidding and here's the final paragraph brute encounters should feel like a unique engagement and not the dominant experience during a game we made adjustments to the brute within arena in line with that goal specifically for arena we made the change to spawn rate in order to reduce late game encounters this is due to a high number of players surviving to those circles compared to non arena modes we're happy to, we are, we're happy with the results and the below graphs represent the current state of brute eliminations across both arena and core modes so that paragraph there's not really too much to dissect there they're basically just saying hey we tweaked the spawn rate a little bit in arena because it was a little bit overpowered but other than that they're saying hey we want this to be like a unique experience in the match and and that's it which is fine i get that they've already explained that with the whole spectacle paragraph um and they've also explained how they want the game to be fun a fun experience for anybody they've already explained that so they basically just reworded that then next they give us two graphs which are essentially the exact same graph um uh i mean obviously the fortnite is a game for children so they're making this like stupid easy to understand but essentially they're saying in regular solos on average the brute gets four kills in duos it's about six and a half squads it's about six in team rumble it's about six and in arena solos it's about one and in arena trios it's about one and a half or something like that um and then the next graph just breaks this down percentage wise saying like out of a hundred percent of the kills how many is it and it's literally the same number because there's a hundred people per game so that's a stupid inclusion i don't know why they would do that they're trying to put it into perspective saying like hey look only four percent of kills come from brutes which makes sense it like from that perspective it's it sounds like the the mech doesn't have that big of an impact on the game when in fact it actually does because now players actually have to play the game differently to incorporate the mech but regardless these last two graphs i'm not really concerned about um because what's important about this article isn't this specific data it's actually the philosophy and their approach to the mech uh, and it reminds me so vividly of this clip from World of Warcraft. I think this was from BlizzCon. I'm going to play it now. Have you ever thought about adding servers for previous expansions as they were then? No. And and by the way, you don't want to that to do that either. You think you do, but you don't yes the infamous you think you do but you don't so essentially what this was was at blizzcon somebody asked the blizzard the world of warcraft developers saying hey a lot of us are playing classic world of warcraft the original base game are you guys ever going to consider bringing back the original game and 
essentially the game developers laughed in their face and says you think that's what you want but you don't and this this moment you know obviously everybody a lot of people have seen this specific moment even if you're not familiar with world of warcraft um because it was just so condescending essentially they're saying we know better than you uh and that's the exact same argument that epic is using in this article they're literally saying hey we know you're complaining about the mech uh but here's why we implemented it and this is the data we're using to back it up and truthfully this they're literally saying these are the reasons we implemented it we don't think it's having a big impact on the game and that's that when if you look on twitter or youtube or twitch or anywhere else every single major influencer who's playing fortnite has complained about the mech at least once on these social media platforms at least once a large majority of them so essentially what fortnite is saying like hey we see your backlash but you're actually wrong and it's like what what are you have you not learned from past developers world of warcraft classic was just one example and in case you guys didn't know uh they actually went back on their word and classic world of warcraft is coming out in about two weeks so blizzard took this condescending approach and was the backlash just made them look like an absolute idiot so not only is fortnite taking the exact same approach which is obviously flawed because it's failed in the past and they're using an a very obscure bogus defense of their implementation proven with this article and i've dissected this article point by point explaining to you why each point is wrong but if we take a step back and we look at this from a broader sense i want to remind you guys what exactly is the mech doing well like i said before the best players are still doing well they've told us this through the data and the worst players are doing better and the average players are doing worse so essentially what they're trying to do is level the playing field and we've seen this time and time again in other multiplayer games and the biggest one that my audience is going to be familiar with is call of duty we've seen skill-based matchmaking in many different call of duty titles the past two or three cods we haven't seen it too much we haven't complained about it too much because they've kind of toned it back a little bit because of all the backlash but regardless we've seen specialists come in the game we've seen death streaks come in the game we've seen them remove uh the the sound the sound whoring ability um or footsteps in general we've seen them make the uav a higher kill reward in the kill streak lineup they've done all of these things in call of duty to level the playing field they've taken away certain things that good players or even average players did so that way they don't stay destroying the bad players and what happens is that everybody in the game ends the game around a 1 kd it's anywhere from like a 0.9 to a 1.1 they've even gone as far as to black ops 4 not even rewarding you for full kills they give you ekia which is not kills it's estimated kills basing it off of damage which means you can have a higher than a one average k or ekia up uh, for the entire match which makes absolutely no sense but it makes the bad players feel good whereas it makes the good players feel like they're not accomplishing anything and that's the biggest point that i want to hit home with this video is that what they're saying is we're going to take the hand of the bad players and give them a free victory that's what they're saying they're saying these people are struggling and instead of watching them get better what we're going to do is just give them a new way to win and this is proven to ruin games. It makes people not want to play your game, right? If I'm playing a game for six hours a day because I'm in middle school or high school and I have no other responsibilities besides homework and I don't see any improvement in myself, why would I keep playing that game? If I'm not getting better, if I'm not seeing improvement, if I'm not getting more wins, why would I keep playing? People aren't stupid. People don't want to be handed wins. They don't want to be given a victory. It might be fun for a little while, but it's not a good and sustainable long-term solution because people will get bored. Simply stated, people are going to play this and say, well, this game is more random now than ever. And that's the worst thing that you can have for a competitive game. It instantly kills your game. Nobody wants to spawn into a game and say, no matter how well I do, it doesn't matter because I don't know if I'm going to win based on random chance. If that's the case, people can just go play the lottery or just go play a slot machine. It doesn't matter. You're in introducing randomness 
into a game that's supposed to be competitive at least according to them because they are hosting esports events worth millions and millions of dollars so really epic has to decide are you catering to you know casual timmy or are you catering to you know the top one percent of the player base you can't have both you really cannot have both and the best solution is to cater to the top one percent that's the best solution in a competitive environment and here's why if you cater to the best players the best players have a drive to get better and when they're getting better they're going to stream your game and they're going to post it on youtube and they're going to have incredible incredible gameplay and people are going to watch in awe they're going to be like holy i can't believe ninja is this good and they are going to want to emulate that streamer and they're going to jump in the game and they're going to get stomped they're going to realize that if they want to get good at the game they have to put in the time they have to put in the work they have to put in the hours and that's a good thing because it's fulfilling to set a goal and achieve it humans are literally built our psychology and our brains are wired to feel good when we accomplish something when we set a goal and we work towards that goal and then we achieve that goal that is like literally what drives human beings from a primal perspective like that's literally what it means to be a human being right that's if you strip everything away from everything i've said that's what it means to be happy as a human setting goals and achieving them so what you should do is see what do the best players in the game love about the game and do more of that and that's going to make them play more and want them make them want to get better and they're going to post incredible gameplay incredible content and other players the terrible timmies out there are going to be like wow i want to be just like ninja and they're going to learn a valuable lesson from your game because they're going to realize wow i'm just not good at this game by default which means the only option they have is to get better at the game they have to play the game more they have to learn how to get good they have to learn from other people they have to learn from their mistakes like that's literally such a valuable lesson that fortnite could be teaching its player base but instead what they're saying is you get a participation trophy you get a participation trophy you know these bad players just hopefully maybe they'll spawn next to a mech or they'll get a mech or whatever and they'll get their first victory royale not because they got better not because they worked towards it not because they learned from their mistakes but because we just implemented a gigantic robot to guarantee them kills like why would anybody like that and just the fact that they've taken such a condescending viewpoint on this with this article is hilarious because they're literally doing the exact same mistakes that we've seen call of duty do we've seen world of warcraft do the same thing and now fortnite is doing it as well and it's really really cringy like it's really cringy because they have all this money and all this development power and they've made like the ease like the most avoidable mistake essentially and they're in their 10th season you would think that they've learned by now um but this is like hilariously bad um and i wanted to make this video because it it was just too easy for me to not pick apart every single thing in this article with irrefutable evidence like it's literally you can't defend the mech you just cannot it's 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 a terrible implementation in implementation into a game if you want it to be competitive if you want it to be a slot machine if you want it to be random and if you want the the average viewer to do worse per game then play with the mech but it's not good for the game it's not good for your average player and it's not good for viewership let me know in the comment section below what you think about this video what do you think about the mech am i right am i wrong let me know in the comment section below drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it um it helps my channel out a ton when you do and it takes just a fraction of a second subscribe if you're new around here and you haven't seen any of my content before click the bell if you want to be notified next time that i upload a video if not that's cool just make sure you follow me on twitter and instagram links are all in the description below as well as my discord server so you can come hang out and share memes and things like that uh, and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace